Uh, our friend Mona Parsa is back in town. We want to talk to her a little bit about uh, some legal issues. Okay, so Valentine's Day came and gone. Yes. Everybody gets all romantic for Valentine's Day. Maybe they got engaged, and then like a month later, they're starting to question the whole thing. So it becomes tricky with the ring. Is the ring considered a gift or yeah, not? Definitely, definitely. Huh? When you have a gift, basically when you have the elements of this intent to give a gift hmm. and the recipient actually takes it, then you have a gift at that time and it's irrevocable. You can't take that, take, can't take it back at that time. <laughs> <laughs> like you got your little hands and you're like, the gift is in my hand. It's in my hand. Well, it, what is the recourse with this? I, I don't quite understand. I, I mean, is is it just on the person who got the ring to well, give it up or Well, basically, there's three approaches that uh -huh. a court could use, and it really depends on which state you're in to see how a court would approach it. Uh, Montana is the only state that says that if there was no marriage that took place, we're still going to treat it as a regular gift, so you cannot take it back regardless. But most states, Cody, adopt hmm. an approach that's called conditional approach. Okay. So they'll say it was actually conditioned on the fact that a marriage take place. So if it didn't, then you know, the person that proposed can take the ring back. It's revocable because the condition failed. But there's a third approach. I love this one. You're uh, going to love it too, okay, I okay. think. It's called a conditional with fault. So the court's going to look to who is the little heartbreaker here. Ah. Who is the heartbreaker? So if it was the person that actually proposed yeah. that broke off that engagement, the court's going to say no. That's a little too much. You can't break a heart and ask for the ring back. You have to allow the recipient to keep the ring. But on the flip side, uh -huh. if it was the recipient that broke off that engagement, court's going to say that's a little too much to handle. You can't have your cake and eat it to okay. break off the engagement and keep the ring, so you have to give that ring back. That's really interesting. Yeah. I didn't realize yeah. the court would yeah. take that Guess into account. Guess which one California uses? Uh, I'm guessing uh, the most difficult one. Wh the which one is it? Conditional mother? with fault. Looking uh, at the heartbreaker, that's exactly right. Really? Good job, Cody. Really? Yes. That's so interesting. Yeah. I would like to see that on like court TV. I know court <laughs> TV's not anymore, but I think that would just like a whole show based on that and the argument of like, just no, you, Cody. my heart was broken and and them going through here. Uh, what if the ring was given on like a special occasion? Does that change it things? It definitely does. Like it twists things all around. See, if you pop the question on a special day, let's say a birthday, uh -huh. Valentine's Day, uh, also popular New Year's Eve, Christmas, the court's going to say we're going to look to this as a regular gift. Mm. So just like a regular Christmas gift or Valentine's Day gift or birthday gift. What do we say about re regular gifts? Did you get to keep it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's irrevocable. Well, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. The recipient gets to yeah. keep it. So at that time, if you're, you know, if the engagement was broken off, you might likely be out of a marriage, but also out of a ring as well if you pop the question on that special day. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Yeah, keep it in mind. It's <laughs> definitely important to know. <laughs> in case you're not Noted. totally sure. Uh, okay, good to see you again. What are you Likewise. doing in town? What's going on? I'm doing some seminars mm -hmm. about um, the importance of having a living trust. Okay. I think it's really important regardless of your age. So uh, that's all around town. So, you know, Join me out there if you like. Awesome. And your website it. is if people Mona want to check it out. .com or on Twitter and Instagram at Mona Parsa Online. Awesome. Good to see you again, my yeah. friend. Good to see you again. See Thanks you, for Cody. coming in. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> special gifts on special <laughs> days. Now we know.